In this video, we're gonna be going over the all-in-one SEO WordPress plugins uh, page score feature for scoring the SEO optimization of your posts and pages in WordPress. It's a handy tool, it gives you suggestions and shows you how you can fix up your page in order to better optimize it for SEO. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm logged into WordPress and the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to uh, check out this true SEO score with uh, all-in-one SEO is to actually scroll down the left here to your send settings to all-in-one SEO and head to general settings and click on there. Now, once you get there, you do want to head over to the advanced tab and make sure true SEO score and content is turned on and then go and save those changes. And now if you head over to your posts, you can go through and find the post that you want to edit, but you'll see over here before you even head in, you can check out the all-in-one SEO score. As you can see, this one here has a poor SEO score. This one's decent. Green is good. Orange is not so good. Um, we've got 100 out of 100 here. So you can see, you can actually go through and quickly audit all your posts by scrolling through. You get some here that, have, uh, that haven't that have been analyzed. All you need to do is go in, open those up, and uh, you can see them, see what score it gives. So that's a pretty handy tool uh, just to sort of skim through your pages and see what kind of score that the SEO tool will actually give your pages before even getting started. And then, like I said, if it doesn't have a score, open it up and see how you go from there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up a different uh, post now I already got open and we're going to see what we can do to improve it. Okay, so I'm now on an old blog post of mine I haven't actually uh, updated. Now, I haven't had that much of a chance to play with this, but it's actually fairly simple. Now, you can see up here, we've got our score, 87 out of 100, which is actually not too bad, and a headline score, 42 out of 100. But the first thing I'm actually gonna do is click on this uh, one on the right here, with the cog and the logo, and I've got a few things here, like my snippet preview. What I'm gonna do here is add in a focus key phrase. I'm gonna call it, Divi theme review and add that key phrase. You see here we've got 59 out of 100, so it could be a little bit stronger. And it has actually affected my score on the website, which is uh, so pretty telling. Now, if you close out of this and you lose that sidebar, just hit this cog to get your normal sidebar back. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into, uh, so I can scroll down and you see I've got a bit of a page analysis. If I go just under my content to all-in-one SEO settings, under general, I've got my theme snippet, meta description, and you see I've got my focus key phrase, and it says the key phrase is not the title, it's not in the meta description, and it's not in the introduction. So you get a few recommendations here of what you can do. And then the page itself here, you can see there's a few things I need to fix up. So it's pretty easy to find this information just by scrolling to the bottom. Even if you've done nothing, you haven't even added a focus key phrase, it does give you a little bit of information. And uh, what we're gonna do here, I'm actually gonna get back up to the top. I just wanna to touch on that quickly because what we're looking at here now is that the focus key phrase isn't even in the title. If I go to this headline area at the top here, you see I've got 42 out of 100, could be better. Uh, we've got a few things here like word balance, common words, uncommon words. It gives me a bit of a breakdown of what I should try to use. So I'm actually going to go over here to try new headline. And I'm going to type in here, my TV theme review for WordPress. Analyze headline. You can see here, I've got a slightly better score not quite that good though. So I'm gonna say here, Divi theme review. So I'll say I, Divi theme review for WordPress. Maybe I say my full Divi theme review. Maybe I don't need WordPress on there. And walk through. Analyze headline. And now I have 70, looks good. So I can continue to play around with these, add and subtract words, and you'll see it gives me a bit of a bit of feedback, uncommon words, uh, get likely un clicks it has uncommon words or emotional words, so I can add in there. So maybe I have my awesome. If I can learn to type, my awesome Divi theme review and walkthrough. Or maybe I put, you know, for WP or something like that. Anyway, analyze headline. 
it's actually dropped back with it. So you should get the idea. But basically, if I'm happy with that, I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to hit copy, go up here to my headline and paste that in. And I'm going to update. So now you can see it's been updated. And I've now got a 70 out of 100 for my headline, head, uh, for my headline, which is pretty cool. So what I want to do now is I can go through. I've looked at my headline. I'm pretty happy with that. What we can do is it's got here a few different bits and pieces that show my previous scores. So I can check out previous headlines I've added in there and go through and work even further at trying to go from there at improving that headline. So now the next step I'm gonna go into is here. I've got a 74 out of 100. So it says here the key focus key phrase is not in the SEO title because and it's not in the meta description. So what I can do here, I can go up to edit snippet and I can change this title here. I can just simply get rid of that. I can just put post title in there. I can use the same as the actual title for my post. So my full Divi theme review and walkthrough. And in the meta description here, I've got something written up and I want to actually add that in. So Divi theme review. So we can say here, check out my Divi theme review. As you can see, I've got too many characters, 195 out of 160. So I need to tone that down. So you can go through and just make a, a few adjustments. Uh, of each sort of bit and piece. So review and go over the pros and cons with this. Let's just say theme. 164, go through the pros, change that to an ampersand and just slowly dial it down. It's a popular theme. So now 157 out of 160, we're sort of good there. We're happy. And now I'm going to X. And now I'm up to 95 out of 100. The focus key phrase is in the SEO title, it's in the meta description, it's in the URL. And if you wanna change the URL, you go back over here and you see here under your permalink settings under post, Divi theme review. And if you don't have that, then you can change your uh, permalink. However, if you are doing this to an old piece of content, you may find you end up having a lot of broken links if you change this permalink. So one thing you could consider doing is changing this here, maybe getting something like pretty links getting that old address and redirecting to the new one if you wanted to go that way. All right, so let's go back up here and continue on. And you see we have focus key phrase and introduction does not appear to be there. So I thought I'd create this Divi theme review. So it's now, so it's now actually in my introduction, key phrase is in my introduction and the focus key phrase is not in the subheadings. So I go through and make little adjustments here, contents of this Divi theme review, and slowly chip away here at making that possible. Some examples of the Divi theme, I can scroll down, Divi theme customizer, I can find somewhere I can add in there again if I want to, um, and just simply so maybe I add in here, Divi theme review. Review worth the cost. So I've got it in there a few times now. If I click out, so this hasn't actually changed. However, I have added it in there and I can go through readability, one error. So subheading distribution, two sections of the test is longer than 300 words. I'm sort of happy with that. I leave that. So I've got all of these things all Check. So I'm going to update this post and then I'm going to refresh. Okay, okay, so I've refreshed. I can see here focus key, key phrase is still not in the subheading. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to make it like this and add in contents below in bold update. And you see it's still there, but you know, it probably wants me to add it into more, but you get the idea. Not every single tip needs to be followed. It's just a bit of a guideline. We're sitting at 97 out of 100, which is not too bad. So now I'm gonna scroll back down to the bottom of my content and see pretty much what we have down there, see if there's anything extra. Once again, subheadings. I've got mostly green ticks. So now I can see 
that I've actually got enough, got everything set up the way I need to. So it's it's a pretty handy sort of uh, bit of software. It allows you to go through and just see how it's performing. Uh, if you needed the actual key phrase in there more often, you could add it in there. You get the idea. We've got a lot of uh, good tools in here we can play with. Um, and explore. You can see how it's going to show up on Facebook with the social media tab here, um, the schema. You've got all your options here on the right. So essentially, what's in your footer appears to be a duplicate pretty much of what you have here on the right. So you can see here we've got everything, key phrase left in the introduction, subheadings in the alt image attributes. So if you do get to that there and you're not sure what to do, so if I go right at the top here and click on this image, I close all in one SEO, open up the sidebar. You see here under the alt text Divi theme review. So adding that to the alt text of your images. So it's pretty handy. It's a pretty handy little tool. All you need to do is install it, turn it on, and you'll get these recommendations that you can go through and just sort of tweak up on your site. So a very handy tool. I do recommend checking that out. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about that, let me know. But it's pretty much that's pretty much all you need to see. Follow the recommendations and uh, watch your score. Try and get that into the green. And when you're ready, update and go from there. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I hope to see you again soon and have a great day.